What's going on guys? Welcome to What Are You Doing? Okay, so this is what I want to talk about. It's totally one of those topics that um, I, I really never thought about. But okay, so living here in Dallas, and, I, and I'll call this uh, Dallas versus uh, Louisiana. Uh, I'll say Dallas versus New Orleans, but I could say Louisiana or Dallas versus Louisiana. And all I'm talking about is just the way things look around here, man. Um, being being a guy that was raised, I was actually raised in Avondale, Louisiana, which which is actually um, a probably about mm, I think about maybe 15, maybe 20 20 minute ride from actual New Orleans to to Avondale. Avondale is a little bitty. Uh, uh, Avondale is a is, is a small a small uh, community. Well, the the, the actual uh, subdivision was um, that I grew up in was a uh, boy. That's a shame. And, and see, when I get on here, man, I like to try to keep this thing going. But um, uh, Kennedy Heights is, is actually the neighborhood that I that I pretty much grew up in. About eight. Nine years before that, I, I grew up in I grew up the first nine years in New Orleans, and then I moved to uh, to Avondale and Kennedy Heights neighborhood, and uh, loved it, man, loved it. Uh, it was it was everything I knew. Uh, I got older once I once I actually got old enough to to, to maybe start traveling around, and, and actually when I started driving trucks, this is when I I realized that. <laughs> That Louisiana, as much as I love Louisiana, guys, and I'm telling y'all, this is this is nothing to uh, to, to talk down about Louisiana because I love Louisiana. Uh, most of my family is still there, but let me tell you something. If you're a person that grew up in the New Orleans area, uh, you know, if you grew up in the New Orleans area and you never traveled outside of New Orleans or you never traveled out, because you can go in some parts of Louisiana that's beautiful, um, but it doesn't compare to what I see here in, 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 in Dallas and, and even in Houston, man, because I, you know, I, I, I have driven through so many of these cities and never really stopped to see what these cities had to offer. But I, I will tell you this, uh, Dallas is actually one of the most beautiful places I've seen outside of, outside of Dubai, guys, overseas, outside of Dubai. Uh, obviously in Dubai, it's, it's, it's really a beautiful place. Now they have their slums now, but it, it their slums is, uh, I would say, probably look like, uh, uh, probably as good as the neighborhood that I grew up in, which was a middle class neighborhood. That's their slum, guys. They don't, they, you know, they don't do the trash. They don't do. You don't see police all over the place. Um, Dubai is another. That's another video I talked talk to y'all about. But let me say this here: if you've never been outside of New Orleans, if you've never been outside of Louisiana, um. One thing I will say, I was had this conversation with my wife. We was talking, and we was talking about the schools, guys. The schools here look like college campuses. <laughs> the schools in 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 the New Orleans area, they you know some of them some of them look decent, but man, they just don't look they don't look like this. I mean, I I went to neighborhoods where these neighborhoods they actually have um, they actually have elementary schools in the neighborhood. So you you um. You know your kids go to school and if they're old enough to walk to school your kid can walk to school from from inside of the neighborhood they don't have to go outside the neighborhood the other thing that I've seen a whole lot guys is uh, not only not they have uh, some of these neighborhoods have rec centers where the kids can actually go in and not never have to leave it's kind of like the park that we have in, in like we had the uh, Kennedy Heights Park in our in our neighborhood with the slides and all this other man they got they got movie rooms they got game rooms they got they got uh olympic size swimming pools they have they have kitty areas where the kids can go get wet you know you can sit you can sit in a chair in the shade and watch your kids while they you know while this water shoot up and, and all your kids you know they get wet and they have fun little bitty kids so what i will say is getting back to the schools I am just I, my grandkids, man, and I have I have I have about eight grandkids now, and I will say that I, I can't I can't make their parents move here, but just uh, uh you know you get kids from here from here in Dallas that that'll go to college and it's not a big shock to them. It's not a big shock. I was in the city of Melissa, and uh, one evening 
and I was I was actually making some deliveries. And um, I saw this school, man, and it, it was so massive. It was so massive, guys. I stopped, and I, and I actually just stopped and looked at this place just from offside the road. It, it, it's just how big these schools are. You, you go and look at their fields. Now, we have a field. I think that's, uh, what's the name of this field? In um, Right off the West Bank Expressway. Um, I'm trying to think. I think it's uh, John Eric, John Eric um, High School. Um, their field is beautiful. Okay, that's that's one of the fields that I've seen in in uh, uh, you know New Orleans or the West Bank area. I think that that field is actually in Harvey, Louisiana, and um, it it is a beautiful field, guys. When you come out here, all the fields look like that. But then you have you actually have press boxes in high schools. Some of these high schools have big prep now, like um, Richardson High School. Uh, uh, you know, my wife's uh, nephew. Uh, uh, two of her, two of her nephews play basketball there. One of them still currently play basketball. He's in his last year of high school, and he played basketball there. We was walking, we was walking toward the, the, uh, the not the stadium. We was walking toward the gym to, to go and watch a basketball game that he was playing in, and uh, and I was telling her, I said, man, this, you know. For these kids, for the kids here in Texas, they they are getting used to being on a college campus because I'm telling you, uh, it, it, some some kids it's it's really a shock to go from these small high schools and and these these small these little small schools and stuff like that. It's really a shock when they get to these college campuses. And for the kids here in Dallas, it's just not a shock for these kids to to be able to play in front of you know thousands of people in a high school guys in a high school you know and I of course I remember when I played uh high school football man you know you know don't get me wrong we had some people that would show up in it and it was a it was a nice little crowd but it wasn't like here these these stadiums that they have here in Dallas is so big that you can I, I don't know how many people you can fit you probably can fit I don't know maybe 5,000 maybe 10,000 people in these things and to be able to play in front of a crowd of five to ten thousand people is totally different from playing in a, in front of a crowd that's five hundred to a thousand people. You see what I'm saying? So uh, this is really why I really would want all my grandkids to get in the educational system here is 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 really good, guys. Uh, you can get so these high schools have um, have teachers. That it's like it's like sending your kid to a private school. So you know what private schools are like here um, in in Dallas. So like I said, guys, this this is really an experience for me because I don't I don't roll through. I've been rolling through Dallas and through Houston and all these places for years, but never really had the chance to actually go through some of these neighborhoods. Now I'm gonna tell you all about this this particular neighborhood that I went, and there's so many that I've gone through. That I've seen. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna tell you about two of them that 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 really was exciting to me to see. And like I said, guys, I'd have been I'd have been all over the world. But I, I'll say this: that right here is one of Dallas is one of the most beautiful places that I've seen in my life. And and that that may not be saying much to some people, but uh, to someone that yes, I, I've traveled around the world. And I've been in uh, maybe three or four different different uh, different countries. Um, and, I, and I'll say this, guys. If you, if okay, let me let me get to this. So anyway, um, one neighborhood I went to, I was telling my wife, I said, well, this I've never seen this before. They have man milk man-made waterways where I think all of the houses can see water. Okay, all of the houses can see water. They they have water. They have uh, they have these sprinklers, which I love to see water. The sprinklers and you know you can run around you can run they have uh tracks that go around even even apartment complexes they have these water uh, fountains and you can go around you can actually run around the water which is really soothing you can sit in front of the water um it's really nice so there's one neighborhood there's water everywhere around these homes and um another one i went to uh where this uh they, this company was building uh building a house that was around i guess seven the guy told me it was a seven million dollar house that he was that they were building and this particular house they had big fans outside now i looked at it and i'm like what is this you know why do they have why do they have fans outside but the one thing i will say guys is i went through this place and i smelled it it, it just it smelled really good 
I don't know what it smelled. It smelled, it was a fresh smell. Um, and of course I asked the guy, what, what are these fans for? Uh, he said, oh, that cleans the air. And I'm like, and of course, listen, these houses were three story houses. They were humongous. Okay, these houses were humongous. And uh, like I said, that house was seven million. They say they say once uh, once they finish building it, that the guys the guy that purchased it is going to sell it for twenty one million dollars. He said that's the that's the uh, that's the a point amount that he was looking to make off that house. And I'm like, well, how, okay, you 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 pay seven million and you make it twenty one, guys. And so that, that you can see that the money these people have is is far it far outweighs just some of the things that you see in Louisiana, you know, and I'm not, and I tell y'all what, man, I love Louisiana. That's, that's home for me. You know, that's, that's where I was born and raised. And, and, and like I said, I love it. I just want people to understand that. I'm not saying that just to be, you know, just to be talking down. I'm just telling you, man, if you have a chance to, to, to get out here and to get your kids out here in this educational system, I just think it'll be better for them long-term, you know? So I appreciate you guys checking out this uh what are you doing i had fun talking about this and i look forward to talking about it more i appreciate you guys hit that like button subscribe and i appreciate everyone that didn't subscribe to this channel and later on guys later on this uh, probably this month first first week of next month i'm trying to get something together with me my brother and my cousin and we'll be we'll be doing a new show it's going to be talking about black issues and stuff like that and we welcome we welcome any nationality that want to come through and say what they have to say on any of the issues and i look forward to this guys so i appreciate y'all checking out what are you doing talk to y'all on the next one y'all be cool